Websites are great. Mobile applications are great. But which of them? Which is for you? Which of them do you choose? Do you go with a website? Do you go with a mobile application? Do you go with a web application? Which of them do you choose? First, to, to understand it better, let's tell the difference between a website and a mobile application. So the thing, I know you've had a lot of definition that um, web, mobile application can only can be used on phone and websites can be used on, you know, your mobile browser. But technically, it's not really true because you can also use your website and your phone too. There are things called progressive, prog there are, there are uh, applications called progressive web application that works just like your mobile application. So why then do you need a website and why do you need a mobile application. Websites live on your browser. They live on the cloud. They don't. They are never installed most of the time. They are never installed on your PC or on your mobile phone, right? So your websites, you go there, you want to do something there, you go there, you do it, and you leave. But you see mobile application, they are always on people's phone all the time. For example, your call application is a mobile app, it's always there. Your to-do list application is always there. And so there, there are some very popular applications that we get to use. This is um, Twitter. I use Twitter every time on my desktop and on my phone, you know, a lot of time. And they are beautiful applications like this. They are beautiful applications like this, like this. I get to use them all the time. And then you have done tons and tons of mobile applications that you get to use, like football applications, tons of them. But as a developer or as somebody who's building a business, when should you choose a mobile app and when should you choose a web application? First thing first, you want to think about usage. Most web applications are SaaS, software as a service or pay as you go service. You want to think about usage. How many times do people come to my application? That's something, that's the bottom line, something you have to think about. For mobile application, you're designing something that people have to carry everywhere they go, right? People have to carry it everywhere they go and they have to come back to it over and over and over again. For example, this is a tool that I use for recording these videos. It's called Loom. Loom, this is the, the, the web application part of it. Most of the time, I get to use Loom on my desktop. I barely use Loom on my phone, ever, ever, because I use it for work. I use it to record tutorials. I use it to send recordings to client, and I'm always working on my PC, so I get to use Loom here a lot. Loom on my phone will just be maybe a slight advantage because I barely use it. So Loom is better off choosing a web application than choosing a mobile app on the Play Store because it's not very, very important. So that you another thing that you that you really want to ask yourself before choosing if I'm going to leave on a mobile app and if or if I'm going to stay on the Play Store, you want to where your customers are. What type of business are you doing? That's number two. What type of business are you doing? Who are your major customers? In the B2B space, most time, when I mean B2B, I mean business to business space. I mean, your service is not for consumers. It's majorly for businesses. Business to business applications are majorly on the web. They are hardly on the mobile phones on the web most of the time like this application i just showed you get emails and messages from your phone this is a business application this one import data this is a business application you will see they have their login and their sign up here they are all on the web but when you see those persons who are really focused on delivering value to B2C customer, customer, you would see most of them, they have mobile applications. Why? Because users are always on the phone. Why business people are always on their PCs? Absolutely, always on their PCs. And business people don't require the same tool every day of the week. They, they can use that tool today, they not use it tomorrow, or even if they use it every day of the week, they're using it on their PC every other time. On mobile, 
you you get to use your banking application every time, every time and every time. But this is the point. The fact that you're building for web doesn't mean your app should not be mobile responsive. Your app should be very, very responsive even if you're not building a mobile, because somehow your B2B customers might want to access your application from their browser on their phone, not on the Play Store, right? B2B people are pretty busy people. They barely use the Play Store. So you really want to put that into consideration also. And another thing to understand again is how are you going to collect payment? Implementing payment for the, for your web application is pretty straightforward. You can use almost any payment pro processor to do so. It's pretty straightforward. There is, um, you pay your regular taxes and all that. For implementing payment for your mobile, you would really have to go through a whole lot of process to do the same thing, right? This is something to really think about when you're choosing. But first, the most important thing is your choice of business and who you are trying to reach. If you're trying to reach B2B people, you are better off building on the web because that's where they live. If you're trying to reach B2C people, you are better off building on mobile. That's where they live. And another thing you want to consider, like I said, you want to consider usage. How many times do people use your application? Because there are millions of applications on the Play Store. It's never used. Really, it's never used. It's not, it's not useless, but it wasn't needful. People don't need it all the time. People don't use it all the time. There are millions of to-do applications. Like you can see, this is another to-do application. There are millions of to-do applications in the Play Store, but nobody gets to use it. The reason why this person had to launch it on the mobile application, because it's a to-do list. You almost take your to-do list everywhere you go. That's why. So those are some of the things you want to think about before you choose if I am going to build on the web or if I'm going to build on mobile. And also, you also want to think about what stage of the product you are now. If you're looking forward to validating your idea, just go ahead and build on the web first if you're thinking of validating the idea. There are tons of no-code tools out there that will enable you to validate your idea, right? There are lots of no-code tools. There are forms, there is editable Google Sheet. Go ahead and build on the web if you want to validate your idea. And once you are done validating your idea, you can go ahead and build your mobile application because mobile application can be pretty tasking to build. Web can be, you know, a lot more easier to build. But there are some times where you want to build both, right? There are some times where you want to build both. Some companies cater for both B2B and B2C. For example, if you're building a Zillow clone, Zillow is a property listing application. If you're building a Zillow clone, that means you might likely want to build for both the web and mobile because you're building for agents, right? You're building for home buyers who will likely be assessing your, your application via the PC. Also, you're building for users who will likely be assessing your business from their mobile phone. So if you're building things that has to do with marketplace, Go ahead and build a website and also build mobile applications also. So that's it for this video. Which of them should you choose? Which of them are you choosing currently? Leave your message below in the comment section so I'll understand why you're choosing web and why you're choosing mobile. And also you have questions, leave it in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a like so, and turn on that notification bell so that whenever I launch a video, you will get to see it. There are some useful links below. Feel free to use them. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you.